It feels like we're getting new imposters left and right because uh, now we have maroon imposter in the game. Let's begin. Wait a minute. Look at my heads up display. Level one. What does that even mean? Also, look, I have a unique sword, a headband. It's all part of the same universe as white imposter and black imposter. I'm just another one of the imposters. And I guess I have some unique mechanics to me that I have to discover. So for general movement, I will say I feel like I feel similar to White Imposter. That's why I actually brought them with me here. I think the weight is a little different. They feel similar, but not exactly the same. So we're going to both kind of jump. Yeah, I'm a little lighter than White Imposter. As you can see here, I can go a little higher. Yeah, White Imposter is slightly faster. As you can see, um, they slowly catch up to me or I slowly lose them. For general moves, we have the quick jabs. So it's just a one, two, not a one, two, three. Down tilt, it's like a low stab and it sends your opponent up. Very good combo starter. Up tilt, oh, it's an upward punch. Okay, pretty cool. Forward tilt is just a forward lunge that has a decent amount of range. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. And then dash attack, I do a slide, which I actually don't use my blade. I just kind of slip on underneath them. And the hitbox is, well, you have to actually make contact with them. You can't slide close to them. You have to go like underneath them. All right, those were the basics. All right, I brought Black Imposter with me just so you can get a nice size comparison. I am uh, a lot smaller. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and do the aerials. So for forward air, we do a forward lunge in the air. It seems to do a reasonable amount of knockback. And you have to remember that Black Imposter is pretty heavy. So it also seems to kind of miss easily. So you have to be somewhat accurate with this move. For up air, we have an upward kick. I kind of like how it looks like um, my moves are martial arts inspired. I feel very much like a ninja and uh, I, I like this up air quite a bit. Down air, we do a downward stab, and that is going to make a very crunchy sound. I really like that sound, and it's gonna do a tremendous amount of damage, and I'm assuming it will spike off stage. We'll have to test that later, obviously. For back air, we do kind of a backwards hit using the um, handle of my blade instead of the actual blade and uh, it does knock back quite a bit. Neutral air, oh, we do the classic. I like to just call this the Mario. It's just like a general area of attack in the air. Um, not too shabby at all. All right, those were the aerials. All right, gamers, it's time to tell you about today's sponsor. Life isn't always easy, and when you face some trouble, like a car accident, Morgan & Morgan wants to make submitting a claim as easy as possible. In eight clicks or less, you can be connected to the largest injury firm in the US. You can literally submit a claim from the comfort of your own couch. So don't wait. Go to forthepeople.com slash linklight2 for more info, and thank you to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this video. All right. Let's get back to the video. All right, we're chilling out with Mario and now it is time to test the specials. This is where things are gonna get somewhat interesting. So for neutral special, oh no way, we have a fireball just like Mario. Well, uh, this specific Mario actually doesn't have a fireball like Smash Mario, but you get it. Oh, what the heck did I just do? Is that side B? Side B is some sort of lunge and it has a good amount of range and I believe it can be used as a recovery tactic you can even jump after you perform it, which is pretty cool. If you exhaust all your jumps and then do it, you still don't have any jumps, but you can use it in between jumps, which is pretty darn cool. You just saw my up B. That is kind of short in my opinion. Is it an attack move? It is an attack move. So I'm assuming they made it short because you also have, you know, side B to recover with. So you can basically jump, side B, jump, up B, and while it is not the most impressive recovery we've ever seen, there is a lot of mix-up opportunities as there are a lot of different directions you can push it. Personally, I think it's a unique idea and I actually quite like it. For down special, you level up. And I'm not entirely sure what this does. I'm gonna assume it makes my attacks more powerful. Maybe it makes my side be more powerful. Oh my gosh, yes, my side B lit Mario on fire. So if you just tap down B, oh, it does like a little tiny charge up, but if you hold it, you get that nice charge up. Okay, okay, that makes perfect sense to me. Does it change my fireball as well? It does, look how insanely powerful those fireballs are, that's crazy. And wait, 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 does the up B change as well? 
um, it does consume part of the meter, but is it higher? I can't tell. All right, now we have no charge at all, and we'll just up B from the ground. Oh yeah, that is a considerable difference. My editor will show you side by side. That's about, I don't know, maybe like an 8% increase in height. It's not too bad. That can save you in a pinch. All right, that is pretty cool. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to subscribe, helps out the channel. Let's check out these alternate costumes on this imposter. Uh, there's quite a lot, so buckle in. We have default, then we have oil, pearl, taffy, clouds, sky, flame, dust, lemonade, butter, ghost, hunter, moon, abyss, so retro, squid games, snow, mossy, golden, navy, burning, regal, rock, dust two, no way, there's a Counter-Strike reference in here. All right, that's the perfect segue. I literally cannot deny the opportunity. Guys, I have a Counter-Strike channel I've been working on. If you play Counter-Strike, which uh, I highly doubt there's a lot of Counter-Strike players watching this video, uh, go check out my Counter-Strike channel. I make videos on skins and it's a lot of fun. If you don't like Counter-Strike, that's completely fine. Don't even bother, but I'm just saying, perfect segue. Anyways, let's continue the rest of the costumes. We have Spirit, Capri, Pale, Spore, Impasta, okay buddy, Shock, Space, the Sus Guy, Default. Wow, that is a lot of costumes, and somehow I was able to plug my Counter-Strike channel, uh, which is also pretty funny. I did not expect that to happen in this video. All right, we're chilling out with Sans, and it's time to test the Smash attacks. So for Fort Smash, uh, we cross our eyes and we do an insane headbutt. I believe if you were going to slam your head against something very quickly, you probably would want to close your eyes as it's not something you particularly want to see. Uh, but don't don't ever do that, guys. That's really bad for your skull and your brain. And take good care of yourselves, okay? Anyways, yeah, we're going to go ahead and slam into sands. That's going to do 20 damage, a decent amount of knockback. Not bad. For up smash, we're going to... What, what is popping out of me is it what is it i don't even know it looks like some sort of weapon it's just a black object i I'm, i have absolutely no clue what that is if you do let me know but yeah that does a decent amount of damage and knockback as well and then for down smash we uh attack on both sides oh it seems to be some sort of like wing thing i believe uh if you played the actual freddy night funkin mod these guys are from you would probably understand uh, what the heck we're looking at here, but yeah, it's like some sort of weird branches flowing out of my body and they hit on both sides. All right, that's the smash attacks. All right, we're chilling out with Sonic and now we're gonna test out the taunt and the shielding animation. For the shielding animation, we uh, prepare a defense by holding out our hand in front of us. If we go ahead and taunt, oh, we do kind of like a rock out sign and we do like a little squint wink at the camera with a little smirk. That's pretty cool. I like it. Simple, but fun. All right, now it's time to hop into the battles. Okay, I really wanted to start things off quite challenging, so we're hopping straight into a level nine Waluigi battle. This guy is insane, but I'm ready. All right, starting to regret my decision, huh? <laughs> All right, we take those. I am not against taking a free stock. Is the crazy Waluigi gonna be able to handle the Maroon Imposter combos? I will say right off the bat, I'm noticing that my range isn't the best. So I really have to get, I really have to throw myself all the way into my opponent if I want to actually make any sort of impact because any character with a decent range is going to outrange me every single time. Now, it looks like I just destroyed that Waluigi. And this is Maroon Imposter's victory screen. Next, we're battling Boyfriend. I feel like it's kind of a fitting theme, you know what I mean? All right, I have no idea if the Boyfriend AI is even good, but we're about to find out. He kind of dodges a lot though. Look at him dodge, bro. I can't land a single hit on this guy. Oh, you can also charge in the air. So like I can just charge up here in the air and that allowed me to really get the ball rolling on that. I will say it's kind of hard to land my aerials, so I have to be very deliberate about how I aim them. We actually made a video on this boyfriend character, but it was over two years ago, so I kind of forgot a little bit about them, but you can always watch it if you want to 
know everything there is to know about this character. All right, we're gonna side B off stage there. Is that gonna be an optimal edge guard? I think it is. Wow, I did not expect that move to be that effective. I also just charged up my meter completely in front of boyfriend and he did not feel like punishing me for doing that. I guess he was feeling generous. Oh no, I missed. That would have been so sick. Okay, we really have to hit a downer. Oh, that would have been insanely nasty. I also love how powerful my up B is when it is charged up with the meter. It's absolutely worth having the meter charged so you can get a really strong up B. It can absolutely save you in a pinch. We're gonna get forward smash here. Oh, I really wanted an aggressive play there, but it wasn't quite worth it. I think boyfriend just dies. Yep. All right, well. <laughs> Maroon Imposter wins again. All right, it's time for everyone's favorite segment. Okay, but can they be Goku? We're bringing out the new Goku. We've been testing the waters. We're switching up the segment a little bit, so uh, let's have some fun. Goku on the GameCube. This guy's pixel art still throws me off every time I see it, but all we really want is a more powerful Goku fight experience, and if this is how we're gonna get it, then so be it. However, I'm starting to think that uh, this Goku is not more powerful than the other one. He does hit quite powerfully, and his voice lines are reasonably loud, I have to say. My range is very lacking, and every time I want to hit a forward air, I am reminded of it. Bro is screaming so loud. I'm trying to find an opportunity here to get a decent combo. But this Goku is parrying and punishing quite well. That was impressive, Mr. Goku. I see you. We're going to go ahead and use that opportunity, the iframes from respawning, to charge up our meter. As we're going to get a side B into down air combo. Let's go. That was so clean. Oh, that's going to be the finish right there. Goodbye, Mr. Goku. You put up a fight, but it wasn't good enough. All right, I know you guys are gonna want me to fight the other imposters, so we're gonna do it. Let's hop into it. First up is Black Imposter. If you wanna know which imposter is more powerful, Black Imposter or White Imposter, uh, then be sure to check out the Versus video that we did. Um, it was an absolutely insane fight. I'm getting wrecked right now. Hold on, relax, buddy. Maybe, just maybe, these guys are way too cracked for me. Oh, Black Imposter is just that nice of a guy. Sometimes he just gives you a free stock. You know, he's just, you know, trying to be generous, be polite, of course. Ooh, wait. Oh, no, I couldn't punish. I am absolutely getting wrecked here. I mean, I would be getting wrecked if I didn't have the free stock anyway. But I do have that free stock, so I have a little bit of wiggle room here as I try to regain composure and try not to mess this up. Oh, no. Okay, and... Uh, I went for a deep dive and it wasn't worth it, but it's all good because Black Imposter ended up dying anyway. It's last stock Legends, it really could go either way. If I lose this fight, then I'm gonna go ahead and let the Maroon Imposter AI take over for me as, uh, well, it's probably better than me, let's be honest. Oh, I didn't get to punish there, but we are at a reasonable percentage lead here that's not too shabby. Nothing to scoff at, that's for sure. We're gonna try to charge up a little bit of charge there. We're really trying to farm it up. We have max charge here, level three. We're gonna go for a side beat into down air combo and that's gonna lock it in. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying to land that combo, bro. All right, you already knew it was coming. It's white imposter time. Wish me luck, bro. All right, we both look like we're prepared for battle and immediately they are absolutely using that range to their advantage. White imposter actually is quite different from Maroon Imposter now I think about it because White Imposter has amazing range where I don't have amazing range so I'm gonna have to get pretty creative with my approach here if I want to beat uh, something that I have a massive disadvantage in. Clearly I am off the sauce right now because that was absolutely insane. I don't even know how I pulled that off I'm gonna be honest with you. That was sick. Side B into well nothing. I couldn't follow that up. I think as long as I uh, just don't get hit I have a good chance at winning. That sounds really straightforward and simple. Um, <laughs> it's like saying, eh, if I just uh, don't crash my car, then uh, I'll be all right. Which, uh, you know, it, you know, thanks to our sponsoring a little something, something about crashing cars, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, let's relax for a second here. Charging up. Oh yes, I absolutely interrupted your plans there, sir. We're gonna go for this. 
follow-up attack. It didn't quite connect the way I was looking for, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. I'm very intimidated right now. We both have a pretty good lunge. And oh my gosh, that was absolutely terrifying. It's 2-2 on the board. I still feel pretty confident. White Imposter is actually interrupting my charging as well. So I have to find more uh, strategic times to charge rather than just mindlessly doing it because uh, this guy will actually punish for it. Oh my gosh, I was like in stun for a second there and then I accidentally down aired. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, that's gonna be an excellent punish there. We still have a 32% lead. Let's try to uh, strengthen our lead before something horrible goes wrong uh, because we all know that is very possible. Oh my gosh, relax for a second there, pal. Okay, hold on. Wow, my side B didn't even look like it came out at all, but it still consumed my charge, even though I think as soon as you input, it takes the charge. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, what a horrible way to end it. Wow, that was sad. Had that connected, that would have been the most beautiful finisher we've seen in a long time. But alas, I was defeated. Honestly, bro, we all know I would have won it. So it is what it is. All I can say is if you want to see the Maroon AI take on some opponents, be sure to subscribe as we'll be doing that pretty soon. Check out our White Imposter and Black Imposter episodes and the battle, and be sure to check out our mega playlist. We have reviewed over 200 characters. Absolutely insane. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.